going to look at different ways of um, accessing and calculating with vectors. So in the run menu, so we press execute for run menu. I'm going to just exit out of there. So the first place you can see is mat vectors under F3. So if you press that, we're going to ignore the matrices and press F6 for vectors. So suppose I want to store a couple of um, two by one vectors. So I can see my first one's already in there. Sometimes it doesn't say um, what the dimensions are. We'll look at that in a minute and I'll put that as one, two. Lovely. So that's now stored. So I'll press exit in vector A. Um, let's say that I wanted to change the dimensions. I would just press dim for dimensions. OK, so I'm going to change this one to be a two by one as well. And then I can enter my values. OK, right. So I'm going to exit and exit again. So they're now stored. If I want to access them, second place I look for vectors is in options. And then you can see mat vect at the top. And first we get the matrix stuff. So press F6 and F6 again. And you can see vect. OK, so if I wanted to reproduce vector A, I'll do five times vector A. I'll do vector and then alpha A. OK, and it's multiplied each um, component by five. OK, so you can see also that we've got a dot product thing in as well. Um, so maybe I want to do a dot product of some three by one vectors. So I'm going to first of all press dot product and then I haven't stored my vectors yet so I'm going to exit this and instead of going to the mat vector at the beginning I'm going to press math and go f6 oh sorry math and then mat vect and you can see it's got different sizes already in there so let's go with the three by one so I'll go one two three and then I press comma because dot product of two different vectors I press another three by one Let's do three, zero, oops, three, down, zero, down, negative five, that'll do, and then execute. And it's worked out the dot product. Um, I could also use this one to help me store vectors. So I could press a three by one vector and I want to have five, oops, sorry, five, six, uh, negative four. I'm going to do arrow, and if I want to store it as a vector, then I need to press the options button and mat vect, and then F6 till I see vect, vector um, B. There we go. Okay, so then I can recall that by pressing vect alpha B, and it will come back again. So in the middle of calculating, you can store things in there. So suppose I've done a cross product of, and let's do, I'll go back to exit again. So I'm going math and mat vect and three by one. So let's do one, two, three, comma. Let's do vector three, two, one, because that's fun. OK, and I'm going to store that. So I then press options, mat vect, F6, F6, vector, let's store in vector C. OK, and it works out the answer and it's kept it. Suppose I want the magnitude of that. Then I would press, so we're in the options and the mat vect bit again. I'm going to press F6 and you can see norm. So now if I do norm and then vector, I want vector, and that was vector C, wasn't it? There we go. Then it works out the magnitude for me. OK. Um, you can get the angle between vectors, and you can get a unit vector in the direction. So let's do unit vector, vector C. Oops. That's it. And that gives you a scaled vector in the same direction as vector C, but it has magnitude 1.